As we continue to follow the raid at the Natural Bridge Zoo, we are also working for you to see why the treatment of zoo animals has come to light over the past few years. Yeah, Tundra's reporter Abby Coleman has been looking into that. She joins us in the newsroom tonight. So, Abby, we're talking about roadside zoos in general, not this particular roadside zoo, at least we don't know yet. But these types of zoos do have a history of animal cruelty. I spoke with the Animal Legal Defense Fund today who focus on protecting the lives of animals using the legal system. They tell me roadside zoos, much like the Natural Bridge Zoo, have been under-regulated for years. But they told me a pop culture craze helped make animal rights top of mind. It shone a light on how, you know, what looks like a, from the outside, to be a really fun trip or day with your family, go to a, a, a roadside zoo. What's happening in the scenes is uh, cruel and horrific. Many animal rights groups have gone after roadside zoos for years, claiming animal cruelty. But Animal Legal Defense Fund attorney Danny Walt says one popular Netflix show helped get the general public involved. Tiger King really seems to be a pivotal, like a, a pivotal point or a point at which we as a society have pivoted towards um, increased protections for uh, wild and exotic animals. The Defense Fund works to protect and advance the issues of animals using the legal system. Waltz tells me more legal action against zoos has been in the works for years. It's just been a long time coming where there haven't been very many regulatory uh, actions. He says animal cruelty isn't always what you'd expect. You may not see intentional cruelty in terms of you know, beating an animal with a stick, but uh, just a complete uh, inability to deal with the typical injuries and illnesses that can occur with exotic animals. When a zoo is raided and animals are taken away, they can't go back into the wild. There's been an explosion of sanctuaries, of bona fide sanctuaries that can be available landing spots for uh, uh, animals who are suffering in roadside zoos. Walt says exotic animals should be treated with the same respect as our cats and dogs. Animals who live at zoos are uh, they're part of our community. They are uh, living, breathing, feeling creatures who interact with us. Waltz tells me that the Animal Legal Defense Fund isn't directly involved with the Natural Bridge Zoo and they don't have intimate knowledge of the care of animals there, but they do tell me they're encouraged by the actions being taken against the Natural Bridge Zoo and hope to see more. In the newsroom, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.